Hey Wompers, in this video I'll be teaching you how to make an amazing stylized book featuring a lot of tips and tricks as per usual, so feel free to follow along and without further ado, let's get started. So let's get started by creating the base of the book and for that we want to start with a basic cylinder. When we hover over the corner of the primitive we can rotate it. Holding down shift allows us to rotate in 45 degrees angles and holding down alt allows us to stretch the shape equally from both sides. What's important to notice here is that how long you stretch your cylinder will also determine how thick the book will become in the end. After we colored it, we just make a copy of it and we turn that copy into a cube at the object's properties menu at the right. Little trick here, we can activate the snapping tool to align it perfectly to our cylinder. We then just want to stretch the cube a bit shorter to have the shape of a book. And that is basically our basic cover. So next we copy both of our primitives in the scene list. We turn them into a negative in the object's properties menu and we scale them smaller from the center. So now they are within this shape. Next we just select them individually and stretch them really wide. And that is because in that way we can make them even smaller from the inside and it will still subtract all that we wanted to subtract. So now we can grab them together and scale them a bit smaller if we want. We want to align it to the edge of the book and here we go. This is the basic cover for the book. We can also go in and round it up if we want. We just need to make sure we do that for both shapes, otherwise it looks a bit weird. So next up, let's create the pages. And for that, we are making a basic copy of our cube that we used in the beginning. We bring it at the bottom of the scene list in that way it doesn't affect or get affected by the negatives. And we change the color. I wouldn't go for completely white, but instead a bit of a like old look. And then we just want to stretch it a bit smaller so it is actually inside of the book. And then we can basically just do the exact same thing for the page that we just did for the cover. Make a copy, this time just in reverse, turn it into a cylinder and align it like that. Next I'm speeding up the process a little bit here to make some more detailed pages. For that I'm making another copy of our cube. I'm just stretching it very thin changing the color to be a bit darker and make a few individual copies. I also want to make some of them stick out. I think that looks pretty cool. And yeah, in that way we can extend it very easily and add our first detail. Now, before we go on and I show you a lot of cool tricks on how to make a fancy book cover, I actually want to show you another way on how you can set up a book base really easily. So for that, we want to grab the curve primitive from our top bar menu go on into the curve settings and change it into a cube. Once we have selected our color we click on point one and here we can stretch our cube. We want to make it um, a flat cube, also give it some roundness. Then we copy the point holding down alt and dragging it out there and just rotate that second point to face upwards. We can also play around with the density options in the curve settings and then we make a copy of our curve and turn it into a negative. Now all we need to do is select the individual points and adjust them a little bit. And then basically just like before we use a normal cube, we can also round it up. And then for a stylized simple look we can just make a few copies, make them very thin and yeah have two or three pages sticking out. In that way we basically make it look like an open book that might be quite stylized or for graphic design stuff, I think it looks really clean. You could also add some gradients or experiment with more details. Feel free to make your very own version of this. So now I want to show you a few pretty cool tricks on how to make a stylized book cover that's also often used in yeah, fantasy books or magic books in general. Um, for that, we just get out another one of those cubes. We make it bigger. We unapply the material to give it a new color. I'm going for a yellow kind of blue purplish um, combination here. You can save materials and just apply them again if you would like. And then I'm copying this cube. I am making this bigger but thinner so we can subtract the inside. So for that we turn it back into a negative and you see it's like covering the book now. We can also add a little bit of gooping to smooth it out from the inside. Um, I'm just stretching this so it's about half of what the book cover is like. 
And now we can extend it really quickly. We just make a copy. And that copy we basically rotate it to face upwards. Um, we make it maybe a bit thinner. And then we use that copy, rotate it the other way around. And in that way we have a nice cross in the middle. We want to make it maybe so the squares are more square-like. <laughs> And then we can make another copy, turn this into a cylinder, let the cylinder face upwards and we just scale it so it actually subtracts like and makes the squares rounded from the inside. I think that looks really cool. It's an element that a lot of stylized books have. And from here on we can build it further with even more detail. For example, we can do a very similar trick to the cylinder as well. We just make a version that's bigger and we then want to copy this exact same cylinder and that copy we just scale um, smaller so it subtracts from the inside and has those cover handles on the back of the book. Now what we see here is that there are still leftovers on the inside that we obviously don't want there so we just make another copy, we stretch it further, turn it back into a negative and just make sure it is um, yeah, getting the rest of it for that you can just scale it a little bigger. So next let's add some more detail and accessories to the middle part of the book. For that we're using the classic sparkles trick from Womp. Um, we're rounding up a very long stretched cylinder, we copy it to the other side and then just add a bit of gooping and watch the satisfaction. <laughs> Here we have a really nice sparkle. I'm then making one more copy, um, turning that into a cube that I want to use to subtract it from the top. And in that way we can even make it um, look flat if we want that. Or we can also make it look like a star. And I think that would fit the book really well. So then we bring in those three shapes into their own union, call it star, and just scale it smaller so it can be yeah, right in the center of our fantasy book here. We can then also easily extend it by making another copy of this union that we just created and changing that a little bit. So first off, I'm going to apply a new material and then I am actually gooping the negative cube that we have on top instead of just subtracting it without goop. And in that way we can change the form further. We can also duplicate and apply the material to create a new one. Um, I want to make it a bit crystal-like, so I give it a, some glass. You can also experiment with some metalness. And I suggest to give it a bit of a lighter color with that kind of stuff. And yeah, I then went ahead and added a few more little things here and there, like some cylinder subtractions or some more details to the cylinder cover on the side. And I think it looks really, really cool. Here you can also see how easily you can alter the shape by just deleting one of the negatives either in that direction or in that direction or also in both if you want that kind of circle to it. Um, there's a lot of possibilities in the design of those books. Here's another stylized book that I created and for this I created this kind of rune symbol in the middle and uh, you can achieve that using curves, you can easily alter the shapes just dragging around the individual points. It also uses the same trick again of like a subtracted cube from the top to flatten it out. You can even see if we drag that down further, you can maybe even achieve like an animation where it's like getting drawn. Maybe that's some cool inspiration for you. And another trick that I used on this build is that I used colored lights on the edges of the book. As you can see here, um, with lights you can also create some pretty cool gradient and just make it more interesting. Play around with the light and have some fun with that. And the last one here, as you can see, has quite a bit of a different shape. It's completely cube based and I also added some details by basically just putting in some thin stretch cubes as negatives. And I think in that way you can also create some really interesting patterns as you can see here. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and got some inspiration to create your very own book or whatever else you can take out of this. We would love to see your versions on the Discover page. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.